Hey guys, it's Unknown System. Today I'll be showing you how to hack your Wii on the newest version, 4.3U. Alright, we're going to be using a, a SD card, a Wii of course, and you're going to need Super Smash Brawl. So, if you don't have that game, call up a friend that does or something and let it borrow, or you could do them for that. Once you're done, you could do it for them too, whatever, but just get Super Smash Brawl, alright? Because you're going to need this, you're going to need that for uh, the hack. Alright, so let's get started. You're gonna have to go to the link in the description and download Hack Me Installer V0.7. Alright, and you're gonna also download Smash Stack. Alright, after you're done downloading that, just put them onto your desktop and extract both of them onto your desktop. Alright. Alright, you wanna extract them to your desktop. Now you're gonna now make sure your um, okay. SD card is inside your computer or connected, and you're going to go. You're gonna open pri You're gonna click on the private folder that you've extracted from Smash Attack Smash Attack into your SD card. All right. After that, you're gonna open up Hack Me. All right. You're gonna. You're gonna um, get all these files and put them in, put them onto your SD card as well. All right. Once you're done with that, you can remove your SD card from your computer and connect it into your Wii. Now we're gonna go into the camera part, so I'll be right back. All right, guys. When you have the files onto your SD card. You're going to put the SD card into your Wii and start up Super Smash Brawl. Alright, you're going to go to Vault, Stage Builder. Before you do this, I think you should delete all your um, custom maps you have on there. Alright, so you're just going to click on Stage Builder and this should pop up. Alright guys, so you're just going to let that, you're going to let that be. Alright, so I'm going to try to fix... Uh, the blurriness for you guys. Let's see if this helps. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. All right. When you go, you're gonna press one. Alright, hopefully you can see. If you cannot, well, just follow what I do. It's very simple. All you're going to do is go click on continue. All the way up, you'll see install homebrew channel. You're going to click that. You're going to click yes, continue. You're going to let that install. You're going to click continue. You're going to go down to boot me. Click install boot me as boot 2. Yes, continue. Yes, continue. Alright guys, then you're going to click on continue. Install boot me as iOS. Yes, continue. Yes, continue. After that, you're going to be pretty much done. It's going to ask you to prepare a SD card. You can click on that if you want. Yes, continue. Continue. Return to main menu. And you're going to click on exit. Alright. And that's pretty much it, guys. You're pretty much done. As you can see, you have the homebrew channel. I'm going to go to the system menu to show you that it's going to be on my, um, my menu on the way alright guys as you can see right here I have the homebrew channel alright alright thanks guys if uh, you have trouble alright you can just easily contact me alright send me messages comments below it's very simple all you gotta do is follow what I did Alright, I'm very, very sorry that you couldn't really see in the video. I apologize greatly. I will have a better video next time. 
trust me all right i just had a little difficulties on this so i'm really sorry but thanks guys rate subscribe and i'll have another video soon all right so thanks